Hello Libra, welcome to Cardelia Moon. I am Lisa. Um, thank you for joining us today. We are, we're, blah, 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 me even, will be doing your love reading for mid-February. All right, there's only a week left, sorry. And um, up to mid-March. Um, what I'm going to do this time round is I am going to do your energies with a Gilded Tarot, the person you're thinking of, your partner, blah, 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 blah significant other, with the Psychic Tarot. And we're going to see where your energies are at. In the pre-shuffle Libra, I got that some of you are um, taking a sort of mental break from a earth sign Capricorn, Taurus or Virgo. You are literally mentally, with, I don't know if you are emotionally, but I know you are literally mentally moving away from them. Um, some of you might actually physically be... Um, stepping back from them as well but you are stepping back and you are rethinking the situation um some of you are um actually more interested in just cutting your losses and trying to see what you can learn from the situation some of you are not putting as much energy into a relationship with maybe someone of that sign or them energies because you're too focused on work at the moment so that's what came up for you guys in the pre-shuffle for some of you I'm sure that will resonate with someone. Let's see. What else have we got for you, Libra? Is that one more? Oh, okay. Hmm. It doesn't hold. I've got it right this time. I took the dog out before I started doing the readings, and he's knackered over there in the corner. He's laying there like a big old beach whale. Bless him. So, let's see what we got for you guys. Anyone get any Valentine cards? I didn't. I oh, know, surprising, isn't it? Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Some of you are um, very knowing at the moment. And you, um, you're, you're quite aware of how to get your Ten of Cups and what you want in your relationship. I almost feel, let me try and word this, hang on, I almost feel like for those of you that are single, you know who your soulmate is, or your twin flame, or however you want to word it, you, you know who it is, and you've pretty much figured out, and it's someone you already know, and you've figured out how to bag them. For those of you that are in a relationship, maybe not with an earth sign like I mentioned earlier, um yeah you're, you're quite happy and con you know there's um happiness and contentment and there's something going on with the children okay hang on for those of you that have got children oh yeah kids are taking your money kids have got other teenage son trust me i know oh and if you're in england it's half term it's always far more expensive just in food my, my food bill goes up by 80 quid a week when my son's up in the hot school. It doesn't follow legs. Um, but yes, I feel that um, <laughs> you feel your money slipping through your through your fingers with regards to your children at the moment. Again, though, this is someone trying to work out the happiness. Like I said in the pre-shuffle, you know how um, I said someone is mentally withdrawn from a possible earth sign at the moment, you're Capricorn, Virgo or Taurus. Um, one of you or some of you are, are looking back and thinking how happy it was to where it is now. And like I said, I feel I feel there's a lesson to be learned here and I feel, I feel you know that, Libra, and you are... You're trying to get to that point. You are trying to see what the lesson is. I don't... See, now we've got the marriage card. It is also a card of traditions. So some of you are actually thinking of how you can either get this... You've mentally withdrawn so that you can see how you can get this to your Ten of Cups. Because the marriage card is coming up under the Ten of Cups. Okay, so some of you, some of you believe your happy ever after will be if you marry this person. Okay, and like I said, I do think someone you've known a long time. 
it's also coming up next to that you're what you're trying to find a way of of getting to that point or that situation but i feel like i said you've had to mentally withdraw in order to to work this out again this is the hierophant is also taurus so again we've got more earth energy though some of you could be dealing with the water sign because there is there is some water there too Trying to work it. Okay. Interesting. Check the bottom. Yeah, we're back. We're back with that earth energy again at the bottom and the movement. Okay. This is how this reads. Okay. Some of you are start uh, are trying for a brand new start with a earth energy or someone who is um, very business minded, very slow and steady, very. Um, probably got their own business or oh, they're very very high up their sort of executive level you know um, management high up management CEO I think CEO you say in the states um, <clears throat> and you're trying to work out this new start with them like I said I feel some of you have had to withdraw you believe you know what will make the relationship work and what will make it happier and what will what will bring back I feel for some of you it's like the relationship has almost lost that oomph so you're trying to put that oomph back in and you're, you're, you've got a good idea how to do it, but you're, you're just tweaking the last, the last bits. You're just tweaking it and then, then you know what you've got to do. But some of you are thinking of marriage, definitely. some of you are reminiscing but i do still feel, and it is going to be an, a new so if this is a relationship you're currently in it is going to bring you believe it is going to bring a new a new dynamic to a relationship a new a new va -va -voom to the relationship if you're single and we're thinking of somebody who's an earth or water sign like i said there is water here um you're what you do believe this person's your soulmate you do believe this is the one for you soulmate twin flame love of your life however you want to describe it and you're you're working out how to how to get the ball rolling but you you love this person very very much very 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 much earth or water uh, Pisces, Scorpio, or um, Cancer. Hmm. You don't seem upset though. You don't seem mega sad or anything like that. But having the Ten of Cups and the, I mean, this is lovely. This is beautiful seeing this together, seeing these two next to each other. You know, emotional fulfillment, just happiness joy 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 love 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 marriage card and also if some of you feel you may it would be better to take a traditional approach and i don't mean um in like proper courting and proper dating i think you realize you've probably got to slow down a bit for this person and and not go in in your normal light-hearted airy way i feel you've got to be a bit more grounded and you've realized that now in order to get this person back, this person, you you have got to do the the, the ruin and the courting and um, these are very old words. So if you're young, sorry, Google them. Um, like proper dating, like there there won't be any of that ghosting or breadcrumbing that that you know sort of thing going on with this. You know, it has to be slow, steady paces. And you're aware of that, and you're quite, and I feel you're quite prepared to do that. I do feel you're quite prepared to do that. I think you're just maybe possibly trying to work out how to do that because it's not something that comes naturally. Um, I'm not saying you're a slapper when you go out or start seeing anyone or anything like that, but I feel it's um, you're used to being, um, you know, being an air sign more floaty and, and chilled about it. Do you know what I mean? And I think you've got to be a bit, bit more strategic here. That makes sense. Okay, let's see where their energies are at. 
bit too soon, it's going to be. It's beautiful though. I have someone to dig now, it'd be nice. Okay, where are their energies at? Tell me where our Libra's person's energies are at, please. Cards feel heavy. You, some of you are definitely, definitely dealing with um, an earth sign, without a shadow of a doubt. Because whenever I do earth side readings, I find the cards feel quite heavy and slow, if that makes sense. And I'm feeling that here. Yes, no. Oh, hang on, I'll just get some more. Okay. Okay. Are they my, they're they're a little torn at the moment. Let's find out where they're a little. Torn. I don't think. Okay. They. Can I put this? They feel that they they feel like they've got this decision, right? And I'm not saying this decision means another person, because the cards haven't. If if it is that, the cards will tell me. But I'm, I've not seen that yet. But they're trying to. Bit weird. They've got this like decision, and they're not really sure what way to go. And they are trying. They are trying to see more clearly. They are trying to work out a um, a um, solution on how to make this choice that they've got to make. Now this choice may have nothing to do with you, but there is there is something going on in here that they're not they can't they can't find a um, it is a decision and they they need the scales to I think the scales are still doing this and they need a, a they want a clear winner if you know what I mean and like I said I'm not saying this is about another person. But I feel they need, uh, and they're trying to, they're, they've gone deep inside to try and see if they can work out. Um, something they've been dreaming about. This is so, and, and, okay, there's been this almost emotional conflict going on inside that they are in, in them. And they, it's, how can I put it, it's like they're, um, let me put this into words, because it's in my head, but I'm trying to get it out of my mouth. It's almost like there's been this, um, they've been working on this emotional conundrum, okay? Now, whether this has come from a past relationship or something like that, but they've been working on this emotional conundrum, and I think maybe something you have done or said or something has been said or or shown to them and it's just make them made them go oh hang on is this the right is this the right move moving towards you is it the right move that's for the single ones okay if you are in um a relationship there they're torn between something mentally and emotionally. So it's like they may be, they may have in the past been emotionally upset about something, but logically knew they shouldn't have been upset about it. And, but they're coming out of that now. That's, that's clearing. The emotions are, um, are lifting. The emotions are lifting and they're, they're coming out of that now. But there is, I think they're mentally trying to understand what they emotionally went through or they like I said they I've also got okay okay uh, okay thanks I've also got um they're worried about the bubble bursting this came up for somebody else it now what that exact that exact term came up for one of the other readings what star sign was it no, no. But again, it was something about the bubble bursting. 
I can't remember. They're mirroring as well. What what they're doing at the moment, okay, but what they're doing at the moment is they're mirroring. So whatever you're showing them, they're mirroring back. Or they are mirroring um, someone close to them at the moment because they don't feel 100% within their own element. No? Okay. Yeah, they're not, they don't feel, why are they not 100% in their own element? This is really bitty. They're very, emotionally, they're, they're finding their feet again. Mentally, they're annoying themselves. And they're not really sure. Which, and they, they are trying to find an answer. So at, the, and so at the moment, they're like, I know what I'll do. I will, I'll just mirror what's going on around me. I will just, um, they're not even going with the flow. They're literally, like, <laughs> You might find, okay, okay, for some of you, you might find when you see or speak to them, if you go like this, within seconds they might do, they might do something that brings their arm up, or if, or if you go like that, they'll go like that, or if you stand with your hands on your hips, they might stand with their hands on their hips. They're they're mirroring someone or some or you. That's what's going on with them at the moment, and I don't just mean. Um, Okay, some, okay, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, yeah, I, I've got, I've got it, I've got it, I've got it, okay, some, someone is trying to impress you, and they're trying to impress you in the, in the way that they feel they know, and the reason they're having this Oh God, what's the best way to go forward is because they don't know whether showing them, I, I'm saying, showing them um, your, their real self um, will be, I don't want to say good enough, but right for you. They feel that they as themselves may not be right for you and they're worried you're going to see that. I feel they're worried they're going to, so at the moment they're, they're mirroring you. But they did have some emotional thing that they had to get past. But that, that's pretty much done now. That's, their emotions are fine. It's just mentally. If you're on an emotional, emotional level, they know where they're at. They are, they are one step away from the Ten of Cups that you've got. That's how close they are. They are only one step behind you in that emotionally. Okay? So in that emotional fulfillment you want with them, they are only one step behind behind you but I think it is this mental decision where they're trying to work out if they're right for you or not and I don't know why they they've got this sort of insecurity okay all right so it's just let me know my dinner's ready shut up um yeah this this mental in yeah this this mental insecurity so at the moment they're they're mirroring or they're or they're mirroring someone around them that they feel Yeah, they're giving themselves time. They're contemplating how to go with this. It's all in their head. This seems to be all in their head. They're, they're literally giving themselves a headache. Give me one more, guys, please. One more. I know it's ready. Stop doing it. Uh, one more guys please give me one more for this energy uh, give me two more I don't mind. Give me two. yeah once they've made a decision they're straight in with you guys they've just got sort of this I don't know it is like a mental insecurity maybe, that, maybe they don't feel they're intelligent enough for you Maybe the way you articulate yourself, they don't feel that they can match that. But once they get their head around that, give them a few weeks. Just give them a couple of weeks just to get their head around it. Try and be a bit patient with them. But once they've got that, they are 
they're, they're straight in and, and they'll start talking more and opening up more. I think that's what they need to do. I think they need to start voicing what it is they need to, they want to say and they need to do. And it will start moving fast then for those of you that are single. For those of you that are in a couple and your partner's been going through things like this, it is going to change in the next few weeks. In the next few weeks, it is going to change. And they'll be straight back. Everything will be happy, sunflowers, roses, white picket fences. Mm. Okay, my lovely. So that is what I've got for you for their energies and your energies. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope it resonated. Um, and Joe will be up hopefully next weekend. Not this weekend, next weekend. And um, we will be doing the general readings. Um, you know, as you know, Joe jo does the... Um, she work, talks about the chakras and things like that. Chakras you need to work on. Um, and then you've just got your general reading from me. We sit together like two nutty women normally in the caravan. But that's what will be happening. And hopefully you can join us then. Until then, uh, you all take care. Don't forget this was still on the table. Traditional thinking. Slow and steady wins the race. Possible marriage. Who knows? You do. Uh, I'll speak to you soon. Take care. Bye.